my name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I am going to start a shell script tutorial series. So prerequisite to follow along with this tutorial series is you should be having a little bit of working experience on Unix or Linux like environment. So let's quickly define what are we going to cover in today's video. So very first thing which we are going to cover is a brief history about how shell came Then we are going to understand what is shell and then we are going to understand what is shell scripting and why do we need it and when to use it. Then we then writing a shell script to auto of few basic commands. Then we are going to see some and then we are going to make shell script executable. Okay, so these are the topic which we are going to cover. So let's quickly jump to the history part. So the very first shell the very first shell come into the existence in 1971, which is known as the Thompson shell, and that was doubled by the Keen Thompson. But that shell was not supporting a script and it was only supporting a redirection and a pipe, right? Then the interesting Bond shell doubled by a Stephen Richard which came into the existence in 1979 and that was the very first shell which was supporting a scripting now. That is known as the shell scripting. And the same era, the she shell was uh, released into the market by Bill Joy and his team. And then the most frequently used in current days are the born again shell which the abbreviation of that is a bash and it was built by Brian Fox. So this is the brief history about the shells. Now let's get into the demo part where we are going to understand what exactly the shell is. And for completing this tutorial series I will be using a Ubuntu as in my environment. So the very first thing which we have to understand what is shell. So by definition shell is a command line interpreter. Right. When I say it's command line interpreter, it means whatever the command we are going to type on my terminal. Currently, you can see I just type echo. Okay. And if I just put hello, so it is pretty much same like whatever the command like print we have in other programming language. Right. So it is just whatever the value, whatever the string you are passing to this echo command, it is going to be uh, display back to the terminal. Right. So, but in Unix, uh, by virtue, what happens is whenever you execute any command, any script, any process, it actually assign a one PID or the process ID to that particular command or that script, whatever you are going to execute on it. Right. Now, along with each and every process, there are three streams get three streams gets uh, created. The very first is the standard input, then a standard output, and the standard error. So no need to worry about all these in the in the upcoming video series. We are going to cover that in more detail to understand what is standard input and standard output and standard error. So uh, shell is nothing but it just you know the command line interpreter. Now the next question comes in because you would have heard that there are a lot of shells which are exist in the market today. So if I am on Ubuntu and I want to see in which shell currently I am in, so what I can do is I can just put echo dollar shell. So that is gonna give me the path uh, of the uh, my interpreter and my interpreter is bin bash which you can see here right and the another way to find out this is we have one special system variable this is double dollar and we are going to understand this double do this dollars this system specific you know the uh, the variables uh, so this gives us the PID and if I just really want to see the which command is running for this particular PID I can pass this to this ps minus p and if I just do that then you can see the complete command this bash command is running and this bash is coming from this particular part okay so this is what the what this is what the shell is now just understand what is shell script and why do we need to use it so I'm just gonna explain this with one real time example let's say I want to create a file name I want to create a one folder let's say with make directory test so I'm just gonna use I'm now I want to create another file inside this folder so what I have to do I have to just do this cd test and then I have to use a touch command and I want, if I want to create a let's say file test1.txt inside the folder right 
So if I just put ls minus ltr, you can see. So for it, just understand if you need to run these three commands, let's say 20 times in a day. So you have two options. Either you can just type these three commands again and again for the 20 times, or what you can do is you can club all these commands, create one file, and just give a very specific extension and just try to execute that. Right? So what we can do is for example, if I'm just coming out and let's say if I just want to let's say I create one file um, and I want to give that file as first script.sh. This sh is really important, right? So if I want to create a shell script out of you know the collection of commands, what I have to do is let let don't get into that part first. Let's try to just put all those commands which we have executed. We created a test one. Let's say this time I'm just creating a test one, and then I'm just getting inside the test one. The, the last command which run we just created a one file with text one dot text. Let's save it. Okay, so let's see whether we are getting this. Okay. So we have this first script.sh created. Since you can see the permission here, this is not in executable mode. So if I am just going to run this, it's saying permission denied, right? So we need to resolve this issue. How we can resolve this issue? We can just make this script executable. Uh, so if I just put a plus x, it means for all. And if I just put this script name here, just put ls minus ltr again you will see this x is coming it means it has now become a executable so now i can run this let's find out okay so this has been run but right now we don't know whether this has been executed successfully or not so if i just ls minus ltr you can see this test one folder has been created if i just get inside this test one test1.txt has been created so now what you need to do is in despite of you know executing those three commands again and again you just need to execute this script and that is what known as a shell scripting so collect all of your command put it in a sequence in which you want to execute them and just create that file executable and just make that file executable and that is what the shadow scripting is now you you now you would have understand that in which scenario you need to use it so if you have a multiple of multiple commands which you need to run to achieve some task you can create one file give an extension to dot sh make them make that file executable and put all your command in a very specific sequence and that is what the shell scripting is right so if i want to create a very quick first yeah, hello world shell script for example it is very straightforward and this time we are going to use some recommended guidelines so that actually we follow in when we create any kind of script for the production use so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use a first hello world sh and in in the recommended way the very first thing which we have to do is we have to put a shebang or a hash bang which actually helps to tell the system under which interpreter this script needs to be run so this is the path where you know that particular system has to look for in under which interpreter this script needs to be run and this is the location where it can find that interpreter so if i just wanted to put a hello word this is so we have a shebang then we have a main logic then we have to exit it exit is actually the return code which we it's really important because whenever you are so execute any script your system actually create another shell in which that gets executed so if you don't give this exit what happens is whatever the last command your script is going to run that is going to be the return code for that so if i just save it and if i just make this executable i can make it with executable this is so It is going to just give the hello world. So that is how we can just create the shell script. So we just understood how we can create the shell script. Why do we need to create a shell script? How it is going to be handled? Believe me, this is 
very awesome feature of any Unix or Linux like environment because when you work in a production like environment it's very important because there are a lot of commands which you need to run multiple times right and it is very pro very error prone so it's always suggestible to just create a style of scripting because that really help us to automate almost all the daily tasks which we actually do in a real-time production so that's it from my side